Now let's focus on symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. Now we need to understand that for a matrix to be symmetric or skew symmetric, that matrix needs to be a square matrix. However, not all square matrices are symmetric or skew symmetric. Now what we are trying to say is that for a matrix to be symmetric or skew symmetric, that matrix needs to be a square matrix. However, we can have a square matrix which is not symmetric and also we can also have a square matrix which is not skew symmetric. Now to begin today's lesson, let's start off with a symmetric matrix. So a square matrix A is said to be symmetric if the transpose of matrix A is equal to matrix A itself. Now given that matrix A is equal to Aij and then the transpose of matrix A is also given as Aji, we are saying that if matrix A is symmetric then Aij is equal to Aji for all possible values of i and j. Now a typical example of a symmetric matrix is matrix A which is a 3 by 3 matrix and contains elements 2, negative 3, 4, negative 3, 1, 2, 4, 2, 3. Now for this matrix to be symmetric, then the transpose of this matrix should be equal to this matrix. Now let's try to find the transpose of matrix A. So to find the transpose of matrix A, we are going to interchange the rows and columns. So the rows become columns and then columns become rows. So from row 1, we have 2, negative 3, 4. So that becomes column 1. So that's going to be 2, negative 3, 4. For row 2, we have negative 3, 1, 2. So negative 3, 1, 2. And then for row 3, we have 4, 2, 3. So column 3, 4, 2, 3. Now for two matrices to be equal, they should have the same size and their corresponding elements should be equal as well. Now let's try to compare these two matrices, that is A and the transpose of A. So for row 1, we have 2, negative 3, 4. We have 2, negative 3, 4. Negative 3, 1, 2 for row 2. Negative 3, 1, 2. And then for row 3, we have 4, 2, 3. And also 4, 2, 3. Now since the two matrices have the same size and their corresponding elements are equal, then we say that the transpose of matrix A is equal to matrix A. Hence, matrix A is symmetric. Now let's move on to a skew symmetric matrix. So what do you think will be a skew symmetric matrix? So a square matrix B is said to be skew symmetric if the transpose of matrix B is equal to the negative of matrix B. Now given that the transpose of matrix B is equal to Bji and negative of matrix B is also given as negative b i j then if this matrix that is matrix b is skew symmetric then b j i is equal to negative b i j that is for all possible values of i and j 
so an example of a skew symmetric matrix is giving us this 3 by 3 matrix which contains elements 0, 2, 1, negative 2, 0, negative 3, negative 1, 3, 0. Now for matrix B to be skew symmetric, then the transpose of matrix B should be equal to the negative of matrix B. So let's try to find B transpose and then negative B. So for B transpose, we have 0, 2, 1 for row 1. That becomes 0, 2, 1 for column 1. And then negative 2, 0, negative 3 for column 2. And then negative 1, 3, 0 for column 3. So that is B transpose. Let's find the negative of matrix B. So that is also giving us... Basically, we are going to multiply each element of matrix B by negative 1. So we have 0 times negative 1, which is 0. 2 times negative 1, we have negative 2. 1 times negative 1, negative 1. This becomes 2, 0, 3, 1, negative 3, 0. Now let's compare these two matrices. These two matrices have the same size and their corresponding elements are equal. For row 1, we have 0, negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 0, 3, we have 2, 0, 3, and then 1, negative 3, 0, we also have 1, negative 3, 0. Now, since the transpose of B is equal to the negative of B, then it follows that matrix B is skew symmetric. So now let's move on as we discuss the properties of symmetric matrices and skew symmetric matrices. So starting off with the properties of symmetric matrix. And then considering that we have two symmetric matrices of the same size, that is A and B, and then K is a scalar, 1. The matrix A plus B is said to be symmetric. That is, if you add two symmetric matrices of the same size, then the result is also symmetric. 2. The matrix A minus B is also said to be symmetric. 3. The matrix AB is symmetric if and only if AB is equal to BA. Four, the scalar multiple of A by K is also symmetric. And then five, the transpose of A is also said to be symmetric. And then lastly, if A is said to be a square matrix, or better still, an n by n matrix of real entries, then A plus the transpose of A is symmetric. Now let's move on to B, that is the properties of skew symmetric matrices.
Also considering that A and B are two skew symmetric matrices of the same order or size, and then Q is a scalar, one, the matrix A plus B is said to be skew symmetric two A minus B is also skew symmetric three the scalar multiple of A by Q is also said to be skew symmetric and then four if a is said to be a square matrix or an n by n matrix of real entries then a minus the transpose of a is also skew symmetric and then lastly if the transpose of a is equal to negative of a then the matrix b a b transpose is skew symmetric for all b